Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're continuing on with the scene creation and I thought it would be good to make start on the particle systems themselves. Now, we're going to start with the mist particle system simply because it's the easiest, because we can adapt a pre-made one from the standard assets. So if you haven't already done so, please come to Assets, Import Package and Particle Systems. Once you've done that, come to your folder and click on the prefabs and we're going to use the Dust Storm. And what we're going to do is drag and drop this onto the Weather Game object. Uh, we'll rename this to Mist. and we'll come to the directional light and we'll assign it and then we'll come back to the particle system itself now don't worry whereabouts in the scene it is because if you remember from the last lesson once we hit play the weather game object which this is attached to now will automatically default to the player's position or just above the player and because it is just above the player, we need to alter the shape. On the Y, I'll make this a value of 60. This so it still reaches the ground. And then we'll come to Emission. And we'll turn up the Emission. And let's try a value of 350. And in fact, I'll change that up to 400, I think. Let's come inside the system itself and have a look. Now, please bear in mind that the reason why I'm going through this quickly is because all these values will be different for each and every one of you. So you can spend as much time as you want going through all these values until you find something you're happy with. But I'm just going to go through the basics very quickly. Now, I want it to look more denser, so I'm going to increase the max particles. We'll try a value of 3000. And I'm also going to alter the colour slightly. I'm going to turn both of these up. Okay. So I'm quite happy for that for a mist system at least for the purposes of demonstration. So we'll come back to our directional light. Now we have the system assigned. Um, please remember when you notice the fog, I've set the values uh, far too strong. And just so you guys can see it clearly in the video, you'll want to turn the color down and in the script, as I showed you in the last lesson, turn the fog density down. But um, for the purposes of demonstration, so it's easy to see, I've made it uh, far too strong for now. And we'll also assign a sound effect. Now I'm using a public domain sound effect. It's probably not the best one for the mist, it's just a wind one. But uh, I think we all understand why, for the purposes of YouTube, I'm using public domain effects. So with that said, let's come to our console and uh, we can collapse that down for now and we'll come to the directional light and we'll hit play and as you can see we're in the sunny weather uh, we need to change to mist so let's just keep resetting the timer until we get to mist and there we go there's mist and as you can see, the fog colour is changing. Hopefully you guys can uh, see the fog moving slightly there in the video. Let's see if we can get a better shot of it around me. And obviously the sound effect's playing. So that's working just fine. Um, if you're struggling to see, obviously you can alter the uh, colour more to make it... Uh, stand out better 
And please remember you must um, take into account compute performance as well when altering these values. And let's try turning that up. Let's see if we can make it a little bit easier to see in the actual project. So let's just keep going through until we get back to mist. And there we go. We're back into mist. And hopefully you guys can see the mist moving around me there. Uh, I'll probably want to make this um, st stronger still for my any projects I use it for, but see, you know, you can guys can go ahead and change it as you see fit. And we'll stop that there. And uh, we will create um, or go more in depth into particle system creation as we create other systems for the other slots, but we'll leave it there for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope to see you next time, and until then, bye for now.